Good morning, my friends. It is time for the Morning Mindset from LibBillChange.com. And I have to tell you a funny story. Uh, I got a text a day or so ago from someone who had been listening to these Morning Mindsets and something had happened in the technology that morning where a glitch occurred and it didn't publish like it normally does. And the text that this person sent me said, are you okay? And when I replied and said, yeah, I'm doing fine. Why? What's going on? And they said, well, I couldn't find your morning mindset. And I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. You know, I so appreciate the the concern and the care. But the reason I'm laughing is because I schedule these out. I record them ahead of time and I schedule them out sometimes a month, month and a half ahead of time. So my wife and I were laughing that I could be dead for a month and no one would ever know because the morning mindset keeps going. But anyway, I'm appreciative of the concern. And I just thought that was funny and you'd get a kick out of it. It's kind of a fun thing to begin the day sometimes with a bit of humor. And this morning, we're getting to the point of the morning mindset. And that is to get our thinking right for the day. We've got to think rightly today if we're going to live today rightly. And so we're in Colossians chapter 3, and the Apostle Paul has been teaching us what it looks like to live as a new creation. You see, you have new attitudes, you have new desires, you have new ways of being when you live out of your identity as a new creation. And he says in verse 14, above everything else... So above everything else, when the Bible says something is above everything else, I think we're smart to pay attention, don't you? He says, above everything else, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Now, this is a very instructive phrase because Paul's already said that we're to be compassionate and have kindness and express humility and meekness and patience and bear with people and forgive. I mean, he's given us this whole list that could very easily become a checklist of legalistic kind of standards if we're not careful. And I think we need to be careful because that is not the way a new creation lives. That's a way of trying to impose something on yourself from the outside, saying, I've got to be this and be this and be this and be this. And you do so with this sense of obligation. But see, Paul's not talking in those terms. Paul is saying, because you are God's chosen one, because you're holy and beloved by him, these are the kinds of things that flow out of you. And he's defining them. He's putting them in a list to put them top of mind. But then here at the end, when he brings in this one of love, he's saying this one wraps them all up so that you don't have to necessarily get out your list every day and go through it as a checklist and say, am I doing this? Am I doing this? Am I doing this? He's saying, just focus on love. Just focus on love because love will express all of these things. Have you ever thought of it that way? That's very helpful to me. Because love will produce compassion and it will produce kindness and humility and meekness and patience and it will cause me to bear with others. All these things that Paul has mentioned here in this paragraph of Colossians chapter 3. And so today, look ahead at the things that you think are coming in your day. Whether it's going to work, taking a trip, interacting with people at the airport maybe. You know, all the places where you might tend to be irritated or you might tend to be impatient. The places where your old identity is in a habit of responding badly. And remember, first of all, you are a new creation in Christ. You have a new identity. And this new identity, because it's the identity of a new creation that Christ has given to you, expresses itself primarily in love. And you can begin your day right now saying that to yourself. I am a new creation in Christ that responds in love. Say that to yourself right now. Say it over and over before you begin your day. You've got to believe that because the people you're going to encounter at various points may be irritating. They may be bothersome. They may be outright sinful toward you. But you... Being a new creation will respond in love. Let's talk again tomorrow on the Morning Mindset Edition from LibBillChange.com.